The next Google branded smartphone is almost upon us and is expected to land rocking the latest Android OS, version 4.4 KitKat. Android KitKat is expected to be a larger update than we saw with Jelly Bean 4.3, but what exactly does that mean? The Tech Radar team offer their thoughts. We don't know a lot about Android 4.4 beyond the name of KitKat, but we do think there's going to be a lot more interaction with wearables, so the Google Glass, maybe a smartwatch that could be coming from Google, and things like allowing it to be more secure, so if you step away from your phone, the watch will automatically lock the device so you don't have to worry about someone playing with it, prying eyes, that kind of thing. Google's definitely interested in security, so that would be a big part of it. So new features for Android 4.4, there's unlikely to be any sort of headlining features. There are more going to be little tweaks here and there to make it a better interface. There's word that a printing option will be available to let you print from your phone to a wireless printer. That will be really handy. Plus also there's talk about the camera getting some new features which will make it a better snapper. But you know, nothing that really makes this go wow. If you're looking for those big headline making features, then we'll probably have to wait till Android 5.0 which is next year. So 4.4, it looks like Google's going to go for the bigger picture approach. So, you know, the ones at the top end of the scale of the smartphones, you know, with loads of RAM, they're going to be able to run it great. But also the ones at the lower end, so with sort of 512 megabytes of RAM, Google's going to make sure they're also getting a really good Android experience with 4.4. In terms of an Android 4.4 release date, we expect it to arrive alongside the new Nexus 5 in the middle of October, a special Google event. The Nexus 5 is expected to be the first handset which runs the software, and then Google will roll it out to its other Nexus devices, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 7, the Nexus 10, probably pretty soon afterwards. Now, in terms of everyone else, the Samsungs, the HTCs, the Sonys, the wait's going to be a bit longer. They have to take the new software, apply their own skins, do their own testing, and then roll it out to handsets across the world, and that can take months. 